YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I've changed my lights. They're pink this week. Last week, they were blue. Someone told me my backdrop looks very sad, so I've decided to change it to pink. And for good reason, because I have a new flannel this week. It is from Ironheart. It's one of their ultra heavy flannels. So let's get right into it. <music> So yes, I have bought yet another flannel, but for good reason. I don't have an ultra heavy flannel from Ironheart. The only ones I have for winter are the UES or US, uh, and I also have a couple of flathead ones. And I've always wanted to get myself one from Ironheart, especially an ultra heavy flannel, just to see what all the rave was about. People were literally saying they're the most amazing flannels you can get in the uh, industry. So I had to take the plunge and I just didn't, find one that I liked in terms of the pattern or the color. Uh, and then this one came up, which is purple. And I just think it looks amazing with a white t-shirt. Uh, and again, as you'll see, it is a work shirt, not a Western. I will one day try a Western, but this I think just had to be done. Now, what is it exactly? It's 12 ounce Aspero cotton from the foothills of the Andes. They say it's double brushed on the inside and it's brushed once on the outside. And that's quite interesting because the flannels I already have uh, from the flathead, for instance, are double brushed inside, uh, but I don't think they're brushed on the outside. So it's the first flannel that I've ever owned that is uh, brushed both sides. And it's quite a unique feel. So that's kind of like that scratchy kind of uh, comforting feel that you would you know, have something in winter that's warm and comforting. So uh, it's like a big blanket almost, even though it's only 12 ounces, it is extremely warm and it's a really well put together as you would expect from Ironheart. Now, a lot of these sizes sold out quite uh, quickly and they do have the Western shirt available as well. And some of those sizes uh, sold out quickly as well, but they are still available from other uh, sites around the world. I know uh, Rivet and Hyde still have stock of the Western. I saw it yesterday. Um, Self Edge have it, uh, some other brands uh, have it around the world. So still look for it. In terms of sizing, um, I went a large, like I usually do with Ironheart. Uh, I'd be interested to try a medium because I have seen some people wearing this uh, in a few pictures with a medium, well, with a smaller size and it just looks a little more fitted. Uh, but for me, this is good, especially going into winter. I do like a bit of baggy, uh, warm clothes in winter rather than super short, like my flathead ones, for instance. Uh, they are really short um, sleeves. They serve a different purpose more. Uh, they lend themselves to having it open in you know summer and stuff like that. So uh, this is, I still think it's good. I do find it interesting that the arms, uh, they do tend to come a little bit baggy compared to my other uh, flathead flannel, uh, which was the blue 277. Uh, but overall, the length is good on the, uh, the hands, the wrists, uh, and you know, I think the silhouette and the tailored fit is still uh, pretty good. Oh yeah, I did forget to mention, I am size large in this. I am 80 kilos, 79 kilograms. I don't know what that is in pounds, stone. Uh, and I am roughly six foot. So take that what you will, a large, you know, I'm usually a 42 chest. Uh, so large fits me pretty, pretty good. Uh, you could probably go down to a medium, but you'd be uh, getting on the old tight side, I think. So uh, large, 42 chest works well for me. Now they are already one wash, but I think if you wash them on hot, and a few people on the forums do do this, they, if that's just a little bit too big, you can wash it on a, on a hot cycle and it may shrink a little bit. They do say that it can shrink a little bit if you do it on a hot wash slash tumble. I'm not gonna do that because it, it doesn't bother me um, and I think it actually fits quite well. Uh, but if I've got that option there, if I want. Now let's talk details and the details, as you would imagine, are pretty, pretty good on this thing. Uh, you've got your black buttons all the way through. Where are they there? You've got your black buttons all the way through. And again, these can be pimped uh, with good art Hollywood buttons if you uh, get them. And also if you get the Western, you can pimp them with good art Hollywood snaps. Still yet to do that uh, for my shirts, but maybe one day. As I said, it's double brushed on the inside. What do we mean by that? They've brushed it twice. It's very, best I can say is fluffy and furry and warm and nice. And they've done it once on the outside. So it's just done, but less. It, it still feels nice, fluffy and warm, uh, but not as much as the inside. And that gives that kind of that luxurious uh, feel to it. So construction wise, it's got single, double and triple uh, needle stitch construction. You can see that lovely uh, yellow bobbin thread throughout uh, in there. And that has a nice 
yellow bobbin thread chain stitch runoff as well that is uh, down the bottom as per usual you've got your usual iron heart logo where it says large as well you have your uh, details in japanese on the bottom on how to wash it and that's that's really it for you on the inside i mean it almost looks like a blanket to be honest but that's it there's no information about wearing it as long as possible because it's not indigo dyed so it doesn't have that in you know care instruction about washing indigo or dyed um, but you know what it is a flannel it is fabric in the end of the day a thousand wash hundred washes it's still gonna uh, age uh, so i'm interested to see how this uh, you know ages over time i guess with with wear but that is really it in terms of details very simple very thick, very heavy, and very luxurious and warm feeling. Right, so how am I gonna be styling it? Um, pretty much as you see me here, to be honest. White t-shirt from UBS, uh, and just over the top. You, it'd be, when it's actually getting a little bit cold now, I'd probably wear this like this open. Uh, when we get into the depths of winter, I still think it looks quite good with the buttons done up, with the, the, the white t-shirt sticking out the top, as you see here. But uh, also, because it's double brushed as well, it's uh, it's quite soft. You don't even need to wear a t-shirt underneath if it, you know, if it's really warm for you. But I think it just looks good like that. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, that is pretty much all I'm going to be uh, wearing it. I was wearing this around the house last night because it was really cold, and it served me well. Right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, drop a comment down below. I love having a conversation with you guys week in, week out. Hit the like button as well. It helps me out to see who likes the videos that I'm putting out. Uh, and if you haven't hit that red button, the subscribe button, just please hit that button because it really helps me to grow this channel and bring more content like this to you guys. Now, join me next week because I'm going to be doing a video where I kind of move away from denim and get into some fatigue pants. And with all that being said, have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.